Hey, welcome back to another video. I have finally ordered the paperwork for Donuts Stallion license. So I thought we'd go through today. What is a stallion license? Why does he need one? How we go about getting one? And what happens if he fails a stallion license? So what is a stallion license? I will show you um, in Gambler's passport. Big Gambler was a licensed stallion back in the day, but because the kids wanted to show him, we then had him gelded. But what it is, is they're all registered with the World Pony and Cop Society. So in the front of their passport, you have a bit that says about gelding their castration and a bit at the bottom about stallion licensing because either boys should be either gelded or licensed so when you get them gelded the vet will fill out the gelding the castration and when you get them stallion licensed the vet will then if they pass their license fill in um, some paperwork I send their passports back to the World Pony and Cop Society where then the stallion license bit is filled in and they are given a number. That's all a stallion license is, is a number, all registered on their database. What, why do we get a stallion license? Um, they, they can be licensed from the January before they turn two. So he was two last year. So last January, we could have gone for his stallion license. So much happened that it just kept him, kept getting pushed back because he doesn't need his stallion license till he does affiliated showing. Um, do horses need a stallion license? Not. Completely. If you just want to do unaffiliated local shows, then no, they don't need stallion license. If you want to do affiliated shows, the likes of county shows, um, horse of the year shows, Royal International, yes, you do need stallion license. But if you just want to do unaffiliated shows, they don't need to be licensed. You can have stallion. But I can only then do that level showing, and I cannot breed from him. Who's you? Have you got an itch? Do you want some help? Is that nice? Oh. Oh. <laughs> um. So yes, in time, I'd like to breed from him. Because my ultimate goal has always been to take a horse up the levels that has my prefix. This is where it all gets complicated. What is a prefix? When they're registered with the Welsh Pony and Cop Society, when you breed them, you can have a name that goes before their name. He is Watling the Duke. So Watling is his prefix his breeder has paid for that prefix so any horse he breeds can be called Watling something. So I do have a prefix because we have bred some Welsh cobs in the past so my prefix is Sunnybrook so if I bred from Donut if he had his stallion license I can breed purebred Welsh cobs from him and use my prefix, Sunnybrook, and whatever I want to call them after that. But we need a stallion license to breed and use our prefix. Um, so then how do we go about getting a stallion license? I can only say on how to do it for a Welsh cob. I don't know how any other breed societies do it. Um, but with the Welsh cob, 
I have gone on the Welsh Pony and Cob Society website and I need to pay for a form, piece of paper. That has just cost me just shy of £200. They send me this paperwork and the DNA tests all of it. So the paperwork, the vets need to fill in. So yes, I, I've paid £200, just shy of £200 for the stallion license paperwork and the DNA test. I then need to get the vet down to him to do a vetting on him basically. This is to prove that they just check that he's got nothing hereditary wrong with him. They check heart, eyes, lungs, his genitals to make sure that there is no abnormalities. They check everything to make sure he can't pass on any deformities or anything to any bones that he has. So they have to pass this fitting. Different vets will do a different level of vetting. It's up to them how they do it. There is this form that we can send and they have to follow some guidelines on there. On there. But how the vet wants to see it performed is down to the discretion of the vet. So what do I expect in his stallion license? I have to have going up prepared for quite a lot really, just in case the vet wants to see a full workup. Some vets just want to see him trot up, make sure that there's nothing hereditary, lameness or anything. They check heart, lungs, eyes, and of course genitalia. Some will be as basic as that. Some vets take it as far as, yes they want to check his lungs, but they want to check his lungs, his, they want to check his lungs on the lunge. So they're cantered until they're really breathing heavy and then they check their, their lungs. So I need Dona lunging properly at walk, trot and canter, trotting up in hand nicely so that they can get a full vision of any lameness or anything like that. So we've got a little bit of work to do with Donut to get to that level. It also comes with a DNA test. So what they will do there is they will just pull out, I think it's about 10 strands of hair from his mane and they want the root on the end, the ball that is on the ends of the mane. You won't notice that they've taken any part of his mane out. Um, but yes, if they want it to come with the root so that they can DNA test it and prove that his mum is his mum and his dad is his dad. Because if you have a mare now, they've changed the rules. Stallions must be stallion licensed and all mares that are going to be breeding mares, I don't know whether they've brought the mare's DNA testing into the showing side of things yet. Of course I, I don't have a mare so I've not followed that guidelines but it is now all mares need to be DNA tested to have bulbs. So his parents were both DNA tested um, to prove that their parents are their parents. He now needs to be DNA tested to prove that his parents that are written in his passport are his parents. So, yes, we buy form, the vet comes out. Of course, I've got another fee that I need to pay to the vet to pay for the vetting. All the paperwork and the DNA test goes back to the Welsh Pony and Cob. It gets sent off to the lab to make sure he is who we say he is. What happens if he fails the DNA test or the vet meeting? Then he should be dealt with. I, I would definitely geld him, that's fine, I've got no problem with that, he can't breed from him or license him so he can do the higher levels, I will geld him and then he can do the higher levels as a gelding. I only need all this done because I want to do the higher level going with him as a stallion. Um, so yes, if they fail the vetting, they should be geld. So how are we getting him? 
ready for his license in when should all this happen and how long does it take to come back we're just getting him ready by as i say there is a potential that he's going to have to be lunged for a little bit of a pretty good so i need to lunge him more i don't like lunging youngsters onto like circles so i'm trying to wait for the ground to dry up a little bit so I can get out on the front field so I've got space so as I'm lunging him I can move more and make it so he's not on a tight circle so we can do that and we're just trotting him up and down in hands just getting him used to running nicely so the vet can see I've sent off for the paperwork that should be on its way to me shortly how long that will be should be just a week or two. And then I need to get his vet visit. He's due his injections in about six weeks. So just to save costs, um, because this studying license alone will cost me a ballpark figure of about £500 for his paperwork and the vet visit. So to save me another call out job, I'm going to get it done whilst when he has his injections in about, I think they're about six weeks. So how long does it take to come back? It's all dependent on the lab and how busy they are. That is just dependent on when the DNA test results come back. But, so, being that he can have his stallion license, I then send the passport off to the World Canadian Cop Society. He gets his number written in his passport and then he is a licensed stallion and then we can show him affiliated shows when you book a stallion into affiliated shows it will ask you for their stallion license number put that into the computer system and then you're eligible to go to that show you cannot show a horse a stallion without its stallion license number after a certain age, I do think that they have up the age now to four years old. You don't need to stand in line to wear four. It used to be three. Um, but now I'm seeing some shows are allowing them to go unlicensed to wear four. But I'm just getting it all done now so it is done and then I know we can go to any affiliated show. If you have any questions or want me to go over anything else, and don't forget to comment them down below and I'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye.